Hello again everyone, Edwin Learner back once again in this YouTube Astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about Venus in conjunct the North Node in a natal chart. Now some of you may remember when I first started my YouTube Astrology channel, I did a series on the aspects in a natal chart. They were a little bit concise and some people may refer to them as snappy. So what I decided to do is make another series on them in which the videos would be a little bit longer and more descriptive. So anyway, first thing up is if you have Venus in conjunct the North Node in a natal chart, um, an adjustment, which is the in conjunct, uh, may be needed between doing what you love and enjoy, which is Venus, and pursuing your future, which is the North Node. Now, one or the other may be overemphasized. It could indicate that you may be uh, you know, dominated or just spending so much time on doing what you love and enjoy, what you're comfortable with, just Venus and uh, to the expense of pursuing your future or it could be the other way around you may be so you know aspiration oriented and future oriented and you know futures in North Node that it could be to the expense the exclusion of what you know what you the things that you generally do that you love and enjoy so the key is to find the balance and equilibrium between the two energies now Let's say if the North Node is in Aquarius, as an example, you know, that future may be tied in you know, with humanitarian, altruistic endeavors. It could be doing something with astronomy, astrology, computers, electronics, innovation, meteorology, aviation, as some examples. If the North Node is in Sagittarius, as another example, that future you know, may be connected with, um, it could be publishing, advertising, printing press operation, it could be foreign travel, it may be doing something with religion, um, it could be, you know, just simply expanding horizons or targeting, you know, one uh, philosophy, because, you know, if you have the North Node in Sagittarius, that means the South Node is in Gemini, and, you know, you're going away from, you know, just kind of um, you know, scattering having you know all kinds of you know different manifold beliefs and you're focusing on one uh with the north node in sagittarius now the thing about it is um you may also at times um, make much money or put a lot of emphasis on making that money with you know associated you know with your mission and purpose the money of course is venus mission and purpose is the north node one moment and then none whatsoever it could be where maybe the money just simply fluctuates where you know at times you may be making an exorbitant amount of money in connection with that mission and purpose which is again the north node and other times you may not get you know nearly as much you may go through protracted periods without hardly you know making anything so the thing is well, let's say if um venus is an aries as an example you know Money may be made doing something that could be with the military or some something that requires you know, leadership prowess and ability. It could be a profession associated with the head, such as helmet or hat design. It could be like speech pathology, or speech therapy, or physiology, you know, as, or welding, as some examples. Arson investigation could be another. Now, another thing, too, is that there also may be, you know, an imbalance between, you know, um, activities connect with your relationships, which inc can include important friends, which is Venus, and those that figure prominently in your future, which is the North Node. You may be dominated by activities with one or the other. There may be times when, you know, your relationships, including important friends, which is Venus, may monopolize you know so much of your time to the expense of those that can really play an integral role in your future you know and, and it could be the other way around the people that are prominent in your future may at times dominate your time to the expense of those you know those relationships so the key again is you know because you have a lot of you know vacillation and distortion of energy um, with the in conjunct is to find the balance and the equilibrium between the energy so let's say if um, you know Venus is in Taurus as an example those relationships one or more you know may be uh, connected with a Taurus Sun moon or ascendant person 
or you know people that simply embody the characteristics of the sign it could be those that are very patient uh, persistent persevering trustworthy stable stolid um, methodical deliberate but can be materialistic and obstinate as well and another thing too is there may be times when you intensely value which is Venus what your um what your destined which is the north node for then other times there may be you know a complete lack of significance where you know those things that you know you value what your desk for there there may be you may be just oblivious to it or you don't have any value in it. and the important thing about what you value of course is the fact that you value something you put emphasis on it. you see it as important and significant now the thing is that the north node um, let's say you know is in Gemini you know what you're destined for you know maybe tied in you know with having you know flexible system in terms of belief system you know being adaptable versatile uh, multifaceted and maybe doing something in the Gemini related field you know such as journalism or reporting writing it could be doing something um, you know that requires manual dexterity such as auto or refrigeration mechanics then also to um, another way that Venus in conjunct the North Node may manifest in a natal chart is that you could have the development you know of the um, you know the positive attributes associated with the North Node at times may strongly affect the self-worth which is Venus then other times it may have like little or no like no impact whatsoever so you know the thing is if you have um you know the pot if you have the north node saying the zodiac sign cancer you know the positive attributes that you may be trying to develop in connection with the placement you know may simply be about being caring dedicated devoted sympathetic protective you know, home and family conscious um, it could be, you know, getting in touch you know, with one's ancestry or roots, being uh, nostalgic. And, um, and the thing is, and another thing about uh, Venus and conjunct the North Node in the natal chart is that there may be, uh, you know, artistic endeavors, which is Venus, you know, may at times, you know, monopolize your time you know, to the expense of what you're, you know, the direction you're going toward, which is the North Node, or it could be the other way around, the direction you're going toward and what you feel your future lies in, which is, again, the North Node can dominate the time to the expense of the artistic endeavors, and that's if, you know, you are interested in art or have some kind of affinity for it. Now, let's say, for example, if, um, you know, Venus is in Leo, you know, those artistic endeavors can be ones in which, you know, the art is very flamboyant, creative. It may be, you know, it may be art that is very attention uh, seeking. It could be, you know, art associated with children or, you know, like say for children's books, you know, as uh, some examples. And uh, the thing is, uh, now let's say Venus is in Gemini is another example that art can be like animated or cartoon art as um, another example. And the thing is, again, it's just about finding the balance and equilibrium between the two energies. Now, another thing about Venus in conjunct the North Node in the natal chart, it may be expressed in that there may be times when... Um, your relationships uh, which is Venus may be supremely prominent in what you're learning and aspiring to be which is the North Node and other times they just may be apathetic or oblivious you know to um, you know to these things and let's say if you have your North Node in uh, Virgo as an example what you're learning and aspiring to be can be uh, being industrious you know meticulous um, punctilious with details, um, organized, uh, someone that can compartmentalize things well, analyze, being very analytical. You may be drawn to cerebral or intellectual pursuits, or it could be doing something in a Virgo related field or profession, such as working as a nutritionist, a dietitian, um, a, a health practitioner, 
doing something with health and fitness, like a health and fitness instructor, or it could be you know something you know service uh, related, um, you know, or something connected with analytics or statistics, as some examples. Anyway, people, that'll conclude the YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Learner saying, stay well.